So, hi, Marion. <laughs> I'm. I'd like to know, like, what? Can you give me a little bit of an idea of how did you end up teaching singing at Voicework Studio? So, um, I'm a violin teacher and a piano teacher for for many many years, and um, I knew a couple of years ago I wanted to change direction a little bit, but possibly not change direction, but learn something new. I have over 30 years of violin teaching experience behind me, and so. I knew of the BAPM course in CIT CSM, and so I decided to era, I give it a go and mm -hmm. see how it went. And I loved it. It was singing, and it it was a, a degree in popular music with vocal coaching, vocal lessons as my instrument. And I have to say, I loved every second of it. I could not believe um, just the amount that I learned in there and what my voice could actually do at this age, this hour of my life. I knew I could sing, but I didn't think I could be a singer. And so that's what the degree um, gave me, it gave me the confidence to do it and to perform. And so then the voice works opportunity came up last year and I loved every second of it. I have to say my year, I loved every second of working with my students teaching my students, encouraging my students, and finding their joy in the music. Mm, so, yeah, and loads of gorgeous comments and reviews from all of your students. And I was really interested, what you, interested in what you just said that um, I knew I could sing, but I didn't think I was a singer. Because um, obviously, you know, you identified as an instrumentalist. Um, and then going into like singing, I think a lot of people would uh, perceive singing to be just this talent that you have that's very natural. And what you discovered in the degree is that actually there's so much to learn and explore and discover. And, and we're on this learning journey really at the moment ourselves as teachers. Um, what, what is it about like coaching or vocal coaching that really excites you? I think for, for me, like I said, I knew I could sing, but I didn't ever have any power in my voice mm -hmm. or strength in my voice, or I didn't know how to access the power and the strength in my voice. And I learned how to do that from practice and mm -hmm. from the coaching within mm -hmm. um, CSM and from you, from listening to the, you know, what you've learned and what you've imparted and, you know, the group sessions we've had and putting all that we spoke about into practice myself and an awful lot of it is working it out yourself at home sit there for 10 15 minutes keep repeating the same thing and suddenly that sound that you were looking for it just comes out mm -hmm. so that was what just brought me the greatest joy and imparting that showing my students teaching them how to access the same sounds was the greatest joy of all. And there's one student particularly springs to mind and he came in with, like I did, with an, you know, an idea, this is who I am, this is how I sing, this is how I've always sung. And he was, you know, in his 40s as well. And this is what I do. And I said, but you know, you can do other things. No, no, this is how I can sing. But you actually can do other things. And so throughout the year, we worked on different things and he went away at the end of the year, just blown away by the <laughs> fact that he could now sing what The weekend was playing on the radio as well. And he was delighted with himself. So that's the joy um, that I find in teaching is actually showing people, you know, there's other ways of doing it where you can sound different and they love it and I love it. Yeah, so it's really like I, it's so often that we come, we run into people with with a limiting belief about themselves. So it's kind of knocking down that limiting belief, and it must be. Yeah, yeah. I was that person. Yeah, right. And so, right. It, I I think like the fact that you were on that journey as well, like you're further ahead on the journey. You know, you're deeper into it. But I think that must be really great for your students to be able to relate to you because they know that you have this excitement and passion about exploring and developing your own voice and that just spills over into into what they're doing and and you kind of identify that like oh i i actually used to pigeonhole myself and think i was just this and then there's an entire generation of me's out there who, mm -hmm. you know we're told in our 17 18 19 years no no you can't say 
no, you're not, that's not a job, you can't sing, so don't sing. And that was the end of it. And, you know, we didn't. We went and we chose other careers. But really, in truth, music would have been the joy and the passion in our lives. So I'm thrilled that I found my way back to actual singing. Music has always been in my life, but the actual singing side of things, I'm so, so happy I found my way back there. And I would encourage anybody else my age back in my generation if that was your thing in you know between 15 and 25 go back and do it it's a therapy it's um it's it's like a gym workout when i when i do my practice <laughs> i feel like i've you know done an hour in the gym and i am buzzing at the <laughs> and it's all you know it's a it's a therapy for me it's a release it's um an exercise mm. i so i would encourage anybody did think they could have done it all those years ago give it a shot you never know you know yeah, absolutely you and <laughs> i you're so right and like i think so many people would think that to get vocal coaching means you're trying to be a famous singer doesn't it i mean yes but it does not i am very much of the opinion now that i would love to kind of go back to where bob dylan was where Leonard Cohen was at the time, all those years ago, where there were just a guy on his guitar or a guy on his piano that didn't always sing in tune, and mm -hmm. wrote the best songs. Mm -hmm. Something that keeps bringing to mind, I watched the Gareth Brooks documentary on Netflix during lockdown, and the guy that wrote the dance, the song, one of the biggest songs of all times, yeah. was the guy on his guitar that didn't sing it particularly well, and but Garth Brooks picked it up and it became the biggest song of all time. So I would love to get back to just singers singing a lovely song, you know, that will mean something to somebody somewhere along the line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be produced. It doesn't have to be perfectly in tune. But if you deliver the message of the song, isn't that gorgeous? So yeah. that's kind of, I think, where my headspace is going a lot yeah so so really like well-being people's well-being giving them something that is a you know a good release a good stress release that is like you know not trying to be the the winner of the voice yeah. <laughs> and I, I think that maybe we have been swept up with a lot of that um kind of ultimate sounding singer that like that that's what's important and it's it's diverted our attention from what's really important and that's the uh, the art of communication yeah yeah and the just the core the music the music behind it all mm. so i think you know for me at this hour of my life i mean i'm not going to be a major star and i don't want to be i just want to deliver the music i don't want to perfect what i write it's just what I write. It doesn't, I don't want to change the lyrics. If that's what I wrote, that's what I wrote. If this is what I want to sing, this is what I want to sing. And I think it's just, it's simple. It's making it simple and accessible for people. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. This is important. Fab. And if you, if you could pick one thing that a student would take away from lessons with you, what would it be? To want to come back in again. <laughs> yeah, and to enjoy it. You know, to be so excited that you can't wait for the week to be over to get back in again the next day. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the ultimate. Yes. Um, yeah, that's the ultimate. And I do remember my lessons. Couldn't wait to get back in the door again. Yeah. What am I going to learn this week? So, yeah, that's, that's, that's fab. And and I like that so so many people. I mean, you work with a lot of our adult students, and and many adults have lots of commitments, very hectic lives, and this is kind of just a moment for them to do something that they like for no other reason other than they enjoy this, <laughs> and it's not for anyone, just them. Sure, that's for sure. And if you're going to do it, commit to it because when you do, you will get. So much more back out mm -hmm. of it again, you know. Um, and I suppose practice is key. When I say practice, practice might be like doing your ten sit-ups a day. It's equivalent to that, but it's far more enjoyable than doing ten sit-ups a day to do your yes. vocal warm-ups. So yeah, 
Yeah. That, that fe- I mean, because you are a, an amazing example of somebody who's constantly, you know, progressing, developing themselves, educating themselves. You're about to enter into a master's in composition and, you know, you've just completed the degree, a pop degree. And like, I think that the feeling, I mean, would you say that the feeling of progression and development is is key to what kind of brings you a lot of enjoyment in your life? Yes, I just don't ever want to be the old granny sitting on the chair. I want to be the old granny that's up there, you know, just constantly encouraging, learning something new. When I do the masters, when I finish that, I will do something else. I will learn something no new. No doubt. And I promise my head will never go backwards. Um, <laughs> but I think if you do learn something new every day, every year, oh, sure, look, we'll be around for a long time. that's That's so true and I it when I look back on being in school I just I didn't enjoy education I didn't you know I kind of resented having to go to school and now the best thing if I have time to learn it's like oh my goodness what a luxury I get to learn something and we meet up every Thursday um for like these training sessions where we just pick a topic it could be like neurology or it could be voice science acoustic science and we'll dig in discuss it figure it out melt our brains and then <laughs> but we, we... Stuff sometimes isn't it and you, i have to go away then you you know google all the words and oh that's what it is and it makes total sense then but yeah oh, but it's <laughs> biology that i never listened to all those years ago <laughs> me too but it's something i genuinely look forward to every thursday is meeting up with you all and and learning together and and figuring it all out together yeah yeah it's good brilliant yeah and so i suppose the last thing i wanted to ask you was i mean is there anything about what we're doing at voice work studio that really clicks with you or makes you you know enjoy your teaching particularly with us um, I, knowing all the teachers like I do, the vocal coaches in there, everybody is so positive. Mm-hmm. It's a positive environment. It's a safe environment. It's a healthy environment for the younger um, students. We say mm-hmm. the, you know, the teenagers. I had a couple of students who came in last year who would have been sort of late teens, early 20s lacking in self-confidence but the most amazing talented mm-hmm. people and i found that flooring in this day and age you know that that kids that had that talent when i say kids i'm talking about the 20 year old but that had mm-hmm. that talent and didn't have the confidence to go with it so i think that's what voice works i think gives to the student mm-hmm. or we, that's what we try and do you know yeah. we're there to support we're there to encourage we're there to coach mm-hmm. and we're there to be real with mm-hmm. them. And mm-hmm. that for me is what I think everybody, you know, it's the energy that's within, you know, voice works is what we give to our students and that's what makes them come back. In yeah. Here, you know, that's, so yeah, that's, that's amazing. That's, it's just a healthy environment all around, I think that's really great and it's um that's something that i i I feel really i'm so glad you said that and feel really um proud of the team and proud of like our level of kind of communication and our our willingness everybody's willingness to you know listen whether or not they're right or wrong or or you know figure out their mistakes amongst us and and for us all to be able to admit including myself that I don't know I'm going to have to figure that out yeah. um and that there's a trust that like we're whatever the only thing you can guarantee is that we all have the students best interests at heart and we will do whatever we can to to take care of them and and I do feel like even if somebody doesn't end up having a singing career if they feel like the the a, a level of self esteem or confidence or um, identity has been built and set up in them from what their experience has been at VoiceWorks, that's amazing results. It is amazing, and and one student springs to mind, Kevin O'Sullivan, and I'm going to say his name because he came in the door petrified, petrified Aww. last year, but when he opened his mouth, every hair on my arm just 
just shut up there. And I could not understand why are you petrified? Don't you know? My heart is melting every time you say it. <laughs> His goal for last year was to get into college and to get a place in UCC doing music. And he nailed it. He did it. Did he? Oh. So, and he, he contacted me afterwards and he was just so proud. And I thought, go, you know, be amazing because his voice is stunning. Um, and yeah, that's, what, that's what Voice Works did last year. It gave him the confidence to go do his audition, get his place. He's the first in his family to go to college. And he is just so wow. tough. So, wow. Yeah. Well done, that is amazing. I'm delighted. Kevin is such a lovely person yeah. and has been gorgeous to have in the studio. Oh, Marion, I've no doubt you've touched many other lives just like that. And thanks for this gorgeous conversation. And um, yeah, and just to let people know that we are starting back up in September and looking forward to meeting new amazing people and learning your stories and um, creating a journey with you as well. So thanks, Marion. Bye, Gemma. <laughs>